actually ends up. And obviously there's some creeks over here, we've got the canal. So that's all that is, the discharge permit fee. It's the same every year. Uh, and it actually, I think it's only been within the last uh, four or five years we've been getting that. It's something kind of new. Uh, they do come out and uh, talk to us and educate us about trying to educate the public of uh, you know washing your cars with soap, letting it run off, and, and things of that nature. It's, uh, um, I meet with a lady, Elizabeth, probably every couple of It's every other year I think she comes out. But yeah, it's a, it's a permit fee. That's a standard issue. All right, any other questions on the bills? I have a question on the bills. But oh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to We just have questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. How's Smith World Bridge? Got any news on that? Or? No, actually, right now, um, uh, we are lined up to start construction in 2020. Oh, fine. And, uh, Basically, it seems like a long way away, but that's less than four years. And what happens is when they, when we are approved for the money, I think uh, I said it in the meeting, we got approved for 1.6 million, I think. Um, they give us the time frame of when they're going to disperse the funds. So basically, that's going to take care of uh, the construction phase, which is the last phase. The first phase is uh, more engineering. And then the second phase is the design of the bridge, and, and then we've got the construction of the bridge. Um, one one uh, nice thing is Smith Road is a, right down the middle of the the, the street is the uh, dividing line between us and Homer. We have an intergovernmental agreement to take care of that road. Well, I approached Mike DeVivo, the Highway Commissioner of Homer Township, and said, "Listen, since we're splitting this down the middle, yes, I understand I'm supposed to maintain the whole thing, but if there's some help that, we have to come up with 20%. If, if, if the government came and said, listen, we're gonna give you 100% of the money, they're only meaning 80%. <laughs> I gotta come up with 20%. So we did set aside 100,000 uh, last year for this. Um, I am starting to accumulate some MFT funds, which will help, but I did talk to Mike to be with Homer, and he has agreed to help us out. So I thought that was a outstanding yeah, we had a couple of meetings. We met with the engineers, and uh, um, he, he's going to, I don't know if he'll pick up half of that 20%, but, uh, um, you know, yeah, I, I don't, I thought that was actually pretty generous that he offered it all. So, yeah, that's, it's, it's really good. All right. Um, any citizens wishing to speak? Yeah, I'll address the board tonight. Seeing none, I don't have any other business. I don't believe we need to go to the so I would uh, entertain the motion to adjourn. So I'll second that. Mr. Dan Bass, such a second. Michael Lewandowski. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes head. Thank you very much. Uh, we're moving on to our general assistance meeting. Uh, you should have received in your packet the minutes of the regular uh, June. 14th, 2016 meeting last month. We need a motion to next the minutes. Make that motion. I'll yeah, motion. Motion. Jen Bottas, that you second. I might go a little bit Any questions of tonight's minutes for the general assistance fund? Hearing none, all in favor? All right. Opposed? All right. Yes, yeah. Thank you very much. We have bills of $13,866.07. Do you need a motion to pay the bills? I've got a motion by Barb Voice. Second. Second by John. Uh Sitch. Any questions for tonight's bills? Hearing none, I need a roll call, please. Lewandowski? Yes. Bottasich? Yes. El Rico? Yes. Voice? Yes. Morella. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I have no old business. I did put a new uh, monthly report on uh, the general assistance aid report. You guys uh, need an explanation to that. Um, we tried to make it more so you can see how many people we are actually helping each month. We're in general assistance. We have eight right now. We have four emergency. Questions for uh, general assistance. <coughs> I'm 
citizens wishing to address the board. So, uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Okay, motion by General Babsich. No second. It. Second by Barbara Boyce. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's it. Thank you very much. Moving right along. Working on a record tonight. Thank you. All right, we have uh, going on to our senior fund. Um, we have the minutes in your packet again of the regular monthly meeting of June 14th, 2016. We need a motion to pass the minutes. We have a motion, a motion by John Badesich. Second. Second by Bart Boyce. Any questions of tonight's minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Ayes have. Thank you. Bills of $13,707.95. Motion to pay the bills. With the motion. We have a motion by John Badesich. Second by Barbara Boyce. Any questions for tonight's bills? Hearing none, can I roll call, please? Lewandowski? Yes. Bodicic? Yes. Alvarico? Yes. Boyce? Yes. Morello? Yes. All right. Yes. Under new business, we have a couple of things I have, um, have this month. We have a resolution, approval of resolutions 2016-3. I will try to read this thing real quick. It's a resolution authorizing the exec execution of the Pace Bus Municipal Vehicle Program Agreement, the adoption of a drug and alcohol policy, and the safety security in emergency prepare preparedness plan that they pertain to the employees involved in the program. Whereas the Township of Lockport, here no here hereafter referred to as Lockport Township, is interested in con contracting Pace Urban Bus, here and after referred to as Pace, for the purpose of providing local based service vehicles within the community uh, vehicle program, and whereas Pace offers the community vehicle program to units of government throughout the area, which provides for the lease of vehicles in order to accomplish the goals of the program, and the respective needs of the participating communities. And whereas the parties hereto are desirous to enter into the agreement for the cooperative, uh, cooperative community vehicle program, and whereas Lockport Township feels that it is in the best interest to enter into the agreement for PACE's community vehicle program, and whereas there are certain uh, compliance re requirements within the community vehicle program with which Lockport Township does not comply. And whereas Pace has a drug and alcohol and safety security and emergency preparedness plan, which complies with FTA standards, now therefore be it resolved, Lockport Township hereby approves the local base uh, service agreement in the form attached here to and made a part of, be it further resolved that in order to adequately, adequately address the requirements of the terms of this agreement, Lockport Township hereby adopts the drug and alcohol, as well as the safety, security, emergency preparedness plan, uh, uh, substantially in the form used by PACE for those employees involved with the community vehicle program. So that's the resolution. This will allow us to uh, lease buses through the PACE Bus service. So I look for uh, approval of the resolution. I have some questions first. Sure. Well, I'd like to get an approval of our motions first, and then we'll ask the questions. We can pass on that. I'll make a motion. I have a motion by uh, Michael. I'll second it. I have a second by Barb. Under most drug and alcohol policies, as this is written, maybe this might be a question for the board. Substantially the form used by PACE for those employees involved in the community vehicle service. So, in order, 
to avoid discrimination. That can include anyone from the township as well, or anyone that's involved in it. So now, in this, if we can take a look at saying that if we get involved into that drug and alcohol policy, are we employers to anybody in the township, or just the ones driving those vehicles? It's actually just the people who are involved in this particular program. Four 
four years old. Yeah, we thought I'm just trying to wrap around how we're saving money. We own two buses that we're using right now. So, I mean, other than the maintenance, we pay for them. Right. You know, I know you're saying if we get these vans, the maintenance is going to be covered by base. I mean, we still pay the driver, we still pay sure. everything else. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm still, like I said, trying to figure well, out. I will say that the buses, buses don't break down for three years, and we're not saving. Here's the thing, though. When we were with Standard, they leased buses and had them turned over every four years. These buses are already four years old. Right. So what we have to do if we're going to buy buses, we have to get into the program of buying a new bus every two years to replace the other. Well, I'm, not, I'm not saying that we should be buying buses or maybe leasing them. I don't know, maybe we should be here. But in, like that, I just don't think I have enough information because, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, last year we didn't know that we could get by with two minutes. I mean, we've been doing this for how many years? Well, we started the program in 2001, 2000, I think. Base service has been there for over 20 years. We just we couldn't use base services up until last year. We, as a township, were subletting our bus service out to stand and shut. They couldn't lease bus because they're a separate entity from us. Now that so? we are having in house, that opportunity is given to us. But when Standard Shuttle went out of business last year, we took over. Okay. We weren't aware of this. Not at that point. No, it was kind of pretty hard and fast, and I didn't know. I wasn't even aware of it. Actually, I was just brought aware of this about two months ago when I went to a transportation meeting and I was talking to Frankfurt Township. We didn't have a lot of buses, and I asked him the information of how they're doing it. I was picking their brain, and he said, the best deal is to go to base. So then I started investigating. I had Michelle go down there, talk to him. We talked to the pace, they came and gave us all the information, and it is a very, very good opportunity, I think. I believe, I mean, everything I've read and heard is talked about the township. Lamont also does a few pace. Yeah, I think there's a couple options because one is, as Dean is saying, if we stay as it is right now, we don't have uh, a payment on two buses. If two years from now, when they're two years older, we could look at this program. Or we do the program now, sell, I think it was talk, sell, sell one of the buses, have somewhat of a profit there to help pay for what, for some expenses. So it's like, to me, it's kind of, you know, both ways work, you know. I asked my attorney, you know, what your thought is on it, you know. The other thing you have to remember is that they still have the agreement with the case, and we have to keep function a, a bus uh, for handicapped and disabled because your two vans are not handicapped. Yes, they are. But, well, the agreement though says that you would have to keep your own separate one and two. Both those vans do have wheelchair accessibility to them. Do they have the lifts though? Yes. Okay. The agreement, the way it's written, says that you have to still have a separate vehicle that has that ability. And if that goes down, then you have to so that's, and then the only other hiccup that I had that I kept around about that he said that we were okay is there's an awful lot of people and there's an awful lot of record keeping that's required to be a part of this program. Uh, Michelle's dealt with it, so we have somebody already on staff who's done this before, but that was, in reading through it, that was right away the comment I made to Ron was that we better make sure we got somebody who does all that because at any point in time, if case comes through and we're not compliant, we're out of the program. We have to make sure that either what Ron is saying that those two buses that we're going to lease or they're going to provide us are can handle the handicap, or we have to keep all those buses out there and keep uh, keep that bus maintained. All right. So how do we? Well, and my plan is to keep one bus all the time running with the two vans and rotate. We'll have three vehicles. If there's a situation that comes up where we have 
Um, when they're doing the dispatching, we have like four people that are going to get, you know, on the bus at the same time. That driver will take the van or the bus back. <coughs> we'll be all on the, the schedule. Well, we have a rental. The rental 
guy's head. Okay, you have bills of $212,976.71. Any motion to pay the bills? January 1st, 
doing the month to month lease here. So that's all this is about. But I do need to approve this uh, intergovernmental agreement, so I'd ask for a motion. So we we'll have a motion by Janet Adesich. Any questions on the agreement? Your none can ever roll call, please. Lewandowski? Yes. Bobbison? Yes. Alvarico? Yes. Boyce? Yes. Morelli? Yes. All right, under other, other than that, I did pass out tonight to the uh, trustees, except for uh, Dean, I think Dean, I did here, here's early the uh, Warner Roger, Duran, and Grizzle. Annual audit for the year. Read through it so that I've been reading. That's done. Um, the old business. We had talked also last month about the. Um, let's see if I can find information on it. It's the golf outing. So disabled veterans uh, golf benefit. Um, they were asking us to support uh, a donation for a whole sponsor of hundred dollars. I mean, I did put it on the agenda, so we get that approved tonight. So I, so I have a motion by Jan Vatasic. Second. Second by uh, Michael Lewandowski. Any questions? Hearing none, uh, roll call, please. Lewandowski? Yes. Vatasic? Yes. Alvarico? Yes. Boyce? Yes. Morelli? Yes. All right. Um, also, for your enjoyment, reading. Put in the uh, Clark Mosquito report this month. It came in early enough to get it into the packet. You know, it's just basically the same thing. Don't leave water. Things laying around, puddles, try to clean them up. Um, mosquitoes are out there. There are have been some West Nile um, confirmed cases in Illinois one so far. They have a Zika virus thing here this month. As of June 15, 2016, the CDC reported 756 travel associated human cases of Zika in the United States, 11 of uh, which were sexually transmitted. New York, Florida, and the New York and Florida, and they have confirmed that the Zika uh, travel associated cases of 100. 74 and 141 respectively between New York and New York. The state of Illinois has reported 19. So uh, it's out there. I don't know too much about it. Mosquito born or spraying from mosquitoes. I have, uh, let me see. Well, the only one that I wanted to bring up tonight, uh, I got, for some reason this month, I got a bunch of things. And I think they're pretty nice, but I want to hear, uh, I like hearing them. I just wanted to read them real quick. They're uh, saying, Dear Michelle and Dave, I am uh, most grateful for your uh, uh, efforts and time spent to help me get uh, a new walker. You are uh, very special people. This is from one of our residents. We also have one from uh, Dear Supervisor's Office. I don't want to name Dear Supervisor's Office, many thanks for the loan of the wheelchair. It has helped tremendously. I would like to particularly thank Michelle, who has been so helpful to my husband. She must be a real gem. I have uh, having things we needed and so nice of those in need. We are really appreciate that, sincerely. Uh, hello, Michelle. You don't know me, but you have been so kind that I, to always get us on the bus. Being a caregiver is hard work, and you have always made it easier for my hubby, so I just wanted to say thanks. <coughs> I also got one from the, well, let me do this one first. This is from uh, one of our residents who's very, very needy, and um, you can see the card, very, handwriting is very shaky, but she says, Dave, I just want to thanks very much for all that you have helped, all your help. <coughs> Her. I also got one from the Park District, um, I'm not sure if you guys were aware, I don't know, when we were in the building cleaning up, I don't know if you guys were there, remember all the paper upstairs? There was a bunch of construction paper, tons of it. I didn't want to throw it away, I didn't know what to do with it, so I offered to the park district for their daycare. They can use all the construction papers that they picked up. I thought that was 
nice to Other than that, uh, any citizens wishing to address the board here tonight? Uh, none. So uh, I would call for an adjournment. So move. Maybe I'm close. Second, Janet. Second, Michael. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy your evening. Yeah,